in the streets, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things should be added unto you. Amen. Today is going to be an awesome broadcast. Numbers don't lie. People do. And once it, that was one of the greatest quotes that I ever came up with, because I never heard nobody say that before. And when I started saying it, it just felt so good when I was a young boy. I just caught up to it. I just noticed that when I first noticed that that uh, numbers don't like that people do is when I heard the first lie around numbers. And I said, mm -mm. I said, that ain't true. I know that ain't true right there. And that's when I started to use that terminology. Numbers don't lie. People do. So remember that. Okay, so well, let's get to it. You, we deal with numbers every day. Everything is based off numbers. Everything. And if you don't believe me, let's go into it. How many times you think you can kick a dog before he bites back? Before he bites you? <laughs> That's a numbers game, right? You gotta understand, you can only beat a, a hit a dog and kick a dog so many times before he bites you. Right? If you spend more time in your business, right, the numbers are gonna go up. Got that? That's a just critical points there. Watch this. If you recruit one person into your business a week. That's 48 new reps in your in your downline that's going to create an explosion. Before you know it, you, you're recruiting one a day. Let me tell you how I know. I had a, a gentleman call me from uh, England yesterday, from London. And he said, I've been, he would have asked I've been, uh, watching you on the YouTube and and I was just sitting there I don't know who I was talking to Dante mm -hmm. I was on Dante was I talking to you yesterday yeah, yeah. ah Dante is in the house Dante Carter is here <laughs> and the and the I would I didn't even think I was gonna hit it like that I didn't realize who I was talking to yesterday mm -hmm. but I was on the phone with Dante I said Dante hold on for a minute I went over to the other side. And so this gentleman started to talk. He said, I'm from England. I've been watching you on YouTube. and I love your business. And I'm saying, oh, shoot. I don't want to put this guy on hold. That would be total disrespect, right? Because he's calling from so long, away, so far away. So I says, uh, I, I made a, a conscious decision right there. 
hit the merge button. Dante, he's sitting right here, just happened to be here this morning. And I was hoping Dante didn't say nothing, but he didn't. And I just started to talk to this guy, and he, he wants me to be look and consider being a, 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 a master distributor over here in, uh, in America. And, uh, for his, he has an uh, uh, underwear line. And so I, I said all that to say this. When you put enough videos on YouTube of the things you do, numbers don't lie. You go live first and tell me. You sit here and tell me that you're not going to make money posting up videos. I, I, you know, I look at my video. I think I got over 100 and something videos posted now. And I got calls coming in, my friends. I remember I had another day, it might be a uh, day before yesterday, I had two calls come in from California back to back. Now, I don't know what the odds of that happened, but it's a numbers game, right? That two calls came in back to back from California saying they see me on YouTube. I get at least one call a day. Somebody said, I seen you on YouTube, and I love what you're doing. I want to be a part. Um, I'm, I'm tired of uh, dealing with this company or that company. or uh, I've been watching you for months and months and months. The number game, when it comes to that type of environment, is off the Richter scale. Now, Let's keep dealing with these numbers now because numbers, I mean, so many things revolve around numbers. If you told your wife or your husband that you loved them two, three, four times a day, what are you think is going to happen? If you told somebody that you loved them, eventually, let's say you met somebody, you, you finally started loving them, they never said I love you back. At some point, because the, the both of the platoons of numbers, they're going to say, I love you back. It's just a matter of time. It's in the numbers, right? If you study, if you study Heavenly Body Products website, and you start studying the numbers, how things are broken down, especially... In that PowerPoint, when you're on Heavenly Body Products, and you look up in that upper left-hand corner, and you see price breaks, the numbers, me, Dante and I were sitting here this morning, and we're talking about uh, the numbers, uh, right? We were breaking down the numbers, Dante. Yes, sir. And, and he's starting to realize, now watch this, he, he, he's, he's willing to let us do the pouring and, and the labeling and stuff, right? But he's going mass, mass distribution and going into the churches and the smoke shops. And, but the deal is, I showed him how much more money he was going to save and make opposed to us pouring it. And that, then that, it began to put a shed another light on the subject. Right, D? Yes, sir. That's what it's all about, right? It's a numbers game. See, because... One thing I don't want to do with a business associate is start beginning to lie about numbers because they'll pick up on it. They'll pick up on it. One of the things that I do with most people, or all of the people that I meet, that is talking about making big money, I send them right over to the PowerPoint because that way they can read those numbers and I don't have to sit there and try to Explain numbers when they're already explained, right? It's a numbers game. Numbers don't lie. People do, okay? So I'm going to open up the lines at 404-286-6700, 404-286-6700. Now, I was with, uh, this is awesome because this is where, I'm, where my life is a lifeblood for me that right now. This is a lifeblood for anybody who gets down like this. Mentoring. I was at the, uh, I was at my church yesterday teaching a fitness class. 
And I, unbeknownst to me, I walk out and there's a couple there. So the couple, we start talking. I don't, we start. We were talking about fitness, of course, right? And then I started talking about how I used to be over 300 pounds and how I lost those numbers. I lost over 100 pounds, right? And those are numbers. See, those numbers don't lie. Anybody that knew me when I was 300 something pounds, they can vouch for me that I was 300 something pounds, right? But the, the conversation shifted into how I had high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, and cancer at the same time. And they asked me, well, which one of those diseases do I still have? And I said, well, I have a little high blood pressure still. I mean, because I hurt my organs, you know, smoking all that crack and sniffing all that coke, right? And, and, and sniffing heroin and drinking all that liquor. And that's when the conversation changed. And she said, I'm going through that right now with a family member. So they started to ask me my advice because it's still numbers. How many people actually get off dope and, and now they oh, they sell hope, right? How many people do that, right? So, so she begins to tell me a little bit more about like about her, one of her other family members. I'm not gonna say what part. One of other, and this, the family member is younger. The family member is 19, and and she was being real forthright with the that he smoked weed and all this and that. And that it, it seemed that his life was going into a slide. So I told him, well, let me meet him. You know, I'm real quick about stuff like that. Well, introduce him to me. I, 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 I believe I can flip him like a pancake, right? I can change this kid's mind. So see, I guess the, the strength and the power in which I was and the confidence that I had that I could do it, she started talking about mentorship. She said, I wish I had a mentor. I said, well, I'll mentor him. I'll get him, I'll mentor him. I'll make sure he, you know, I'll lead him in the right direction. There's no problem. I can do that, no problem. She said, the, the problem is consistency with the people, with, with mentors. Now, see, there's a numbers. Numbers game. How many mentors are really being consistent with their mentees, you know, you got to always be open to a mentee if you're going to mentor them. And I got bunches of them. All they got to do is call me. I tell all my mentees, it's not my job to call you. It's your job to call me. And it gets to me, it gets to a point where I see that you care. And my mentees, I call my mentees, right? Now I see that you care about what you want and what you need then it opens up the gate for me to call you. So, the young dude that I started talking to the lady about this dude, right? And I said to her, I said, you know what? She said, why, you know, these kids? I said, usually it's the parent. The parent don't know what to do with their kids. And somebody said something about uh, church taking our more role. I said, the church don't know much about kids either. Now I said, why you think they're not staying around the church, right? So, I told her that if she brings him to me, I said, one of the first things I want to do with him is I want to start talking about the craft that he's in. She said, he loves music and he's an artist and blah, 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 and he does that. I said, I'm going to start talking about younger kids that he needs to go in. She said, mentor? I said, yes, ma'am. I'm going to show him how to be a mentor, that he needs to spend more time. I said, most kids, they're needy. They want something. They want one of the one thing that they really need is attention. So when I showed this young cat how to mentor younger cats, 
that's going to make this, this older cat more responsible for the younger cats, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that, doesn't that make sense? Yes, sir. This is why it's a numbers game for me. Is I, I want to see how many mentors I can have in my life before I die. That's my goal. To me, it's a numbers game. I'm going to put the time in, the effort, and that's the, 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 the vibe that we need to be on in terms of the numbers game, right? Listen, they have so many numbers against, I'm, I'm just going to say, all our children in America, but especially black kids, right? The black boys, and you got to watch out for them black girls because they're going to jail at a rapid rate too, right? This is the deal. There's a lot more kids that are out of jail than in jail. Okay? Let's get, let's get those numbers straight. Okay? And then there's so many kids that just need mentors. Right? Not only just mentors. There's a thing just being a mentor. But then there's this called this financial mentors. These kids need, kids are going to re reach out to them to teach them about money, finances, how to get it. It's rare that you have even a, a father or mother, child, mentor thing. Even my son, sons need mentors, right? Outside me. Do you agree with that, Dante? Yes, sir. You do get mentors, right? I have mentors. Your yeah. father's a mentor to you, right? Absolutely. Right? But he's your only mentor to you. No. Okay? See? Because if I start to mentor Dante in, distrib in distribution and then in mass distribution, numbers don't lie. People do. Them numbers are going to go up. His sales are going to go up. As a matter of fact, they're going to go through the roof. Because there's one thing, and I, we talked about this, there's one thing to be mentored by your father. Mm. Anyway, and they're being mentored by a mentor. Okay? That's one thing. So you, he sees what his father can do, but now he's going to witness and see what I can do. And then he's going to put those two things, those collaborations together. And bay bay, you're talking about a major, major explosion. Because his father is off the chain. Okay? And his father... Called Coach Collar, he mentors other people. He put people to work. He got calling stations. You gotta teach people how to get free. He teaches people if you if people don't want to have their own business, right? You gotta at least get a, teach people how to develop a job for themselves. That's what your father's done, right? Yes. He got him. He got he put people to work. And the beautiful part about Collin stations. Uh, has any of any of those uh, Collin station employees have they ever converted to sales reps, Dante? Yes. Are oh, they done? Yeah. Oh, see, I didn't know that, but I, mm -hmm. I would, I would thought I would, I was venturing out to say it's a numbers game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna only be on that phone so long making sales yep. before you realize, man, I can make some of this money too. Yep. And they need to go out and be uh, sales reps. Mm -hmm. And distributors, right? Yeah. Because this is the deal that Dante, the, the, I don't know how far he sees this, but we're calling, I'm going to teach him the numbers game about hiring sales reps for just to sell the product and distribute the product. That's a whole nother game to call the church and say, listen, you want some product? And this is the other game that said, listen, do you have any youth, 18, 19, 20, would love to have their own, would love to be dis distributors? That's a whole different ball game. The church can either sell, will sell private label into the church and let them sell the product, or will recruit some of their people in the church to be master distributors and distributors for, the, for, for your program, Dante. Wow. That's awesome. Now, the first move is working the numbers, right? They use the calling station, the calling centers. Excuse me, looking for sales reps. You know, you sell. 
Anybody want to make some extra cash selling products? Bang. It's on. It's on. We have a, a awesome product line. We got the bur the burning oils. But what's the second item that I pushed at you, Dante? The, the, the body, body oils. Body oil. Oh. He said, hmm, I didn't think about that. And then here comes the numbers. I threw some numbers at him. I said, per capita, you're going to make more money off the body oil than the burning oil. But you're going to make more money off the burning oil because it's a faster flip. So I had to tell him the whole series of numbers, how that system works. So now he has a clearer understanding of how numbers don't lie. And the more you teach on those numbers, the better. I'll tell you, I got uh, my partner, uh, Roosevelt Davis. You need to buy his book, by the way. And the uh, same thing with this uh, image is everything. And what does your image say about you? Just call 678-330-8139 uh, and get you a copy. And, and talk to the, the author of the book so you'll see the, the numbers that when we, the more youth that we save from going through that system. Listen, our babies are going through a, a, a I mean, they are going through it. All they need is a little bit more attention, a little bit more guidance. You know, we, we know all the negatives about the numbers of how our children are being led to slaughter. We know that. But how many of those kids can you save personally by just helping maybe their parent? Can you imagine helping a parent with their children? What do you think that parent is going to do? Once I help that, that couple with their 19-year-old 19-year-old uh, child. What do you think they're going to do? What do you think they're going to say to other people? When they, when that son is now doing the art, they back in the school, they do what they're supposed to do. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to share my name. Share my name, share my name. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. It's awesome. Our names need to be in the mouth of of other people. That's what you want. That's what you need. You need to know that the the number volume of numbers of people that's going to mention your name because of the energy that you put into and then eventually you know you go into the schools and speak, you go to the colleges, you go into the churches and speaking and that and, and it's just going to build. It's a numbers game. Numbers don't lie, folks. You put the time in. You put the energy in. This is an awesome, awesome broadcast for people that are procrastinators and, and, and people that feel that things are not going to change for them. I told my, my, my sister uh, up in uh, Ohio yesterday, she called, you know, they said, oh, 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 And I said, don't you know that the devil throws number, a number of things at you to discourage you? The, the evil does its job. It's only going to do what you allow it to do in your life. And that's very important to understand. I told her, when I got finished with her, she was so happy. I said, look, you're going to get that banner. She had some holes in the wall here and tore the, took the mirrors off and tore holes in the wall. I said, you get a banner. And she was talking about I said, yes, that's the best thing. Get a banner. Put on the banner. Put your logo. Big old logo. Put on there, distributors want it. Need extra cash? Distributors want it. She said, yeah. I said, how many people that walk in that store go say, what is what is that distributors wanted? What is that all about? It's numbers. 
She, matter of fact, she got, she's not in the store yet, but I told her put it, put it on the glass that distributors, near scan distributors want it. The people are calling her before the stores even open it up, looking, asking her, what is that distributors want it all about? I got my partner down there, uh, Clifford, down there in, in Baton Rouge. Uh, his, his, uh, his artwork's almost done. I said, uh, I, I, he, he sent it to me, and I, I'm going to change a little bit because you, you, for order for him to increase those numbers, he's got to hit it just right. Here we go. Now, here we go. It says, uh, now hiring. You don't want to get into that world. You don't want to get, I'm going to tell him. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you hiring people for? You're not hiring anybody. But what you are looking for is the distributors want, I would say distributors and master distributors need it. Now that makes a lot more sense than hiring somebody. That means you got a, you got a job for somebody. Mm -hmm. The people that you're dealing with, they don't want no jobs. Mm -hmm. People are looking for opportunities. Of course people are going to want to work too. People need jobs. I'm going to be hiring soon. I need workers, right? But as they work it, I'm saying, listen, you need to be a distributor at the same time. Now, some people say, nah, you don't want to go there. I say, yes, I do. Because I ain't trying to hold on to employees long life, but unless they're in a position where I really need them, like a warehouse manager or something like that, right? Where I'm paying them thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year and they're happy, right? But it's all about the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that in mind. The numbers don't lie. People do. The more time that you spend with the numbers, get, getting up in the morning, watch this. If you get up early, an hour earlier than you normally do, and you spend more time on your business, doing your social media and all this and that, here come the increase. See, because that's an extra 20 hours a month that you're spending on you. Okay. If you got up an hour early and started doing, working out, your body's going to go down. You're going to reduce those numbers on you. That's, <laughs> it's just numbers. Everything's numbers. Everything's numbers. You spend more time with your kids. That's going to be a payoff. The numbers ain't going to lie. That means the more thing, they're going to be more aggressive in attacking the market or whatever they're attacking. If you got a kid that's in basketball, you just, they should, you said, come on, let me show you. I'm going to pass you the ball. I want you to take 100 more shots a day. What's going to happen? The numbers ain't going to lie. That kid's going to be a prolific scorer. Okay? So that's just the way it works, folks. You put more energy in the numbers, mm -hmm. the numbers pay you off. It doesn't matter what se sector of life that you're in. You spend, if I spend more time speaking, I done been, I've been doing this, I don't know, for some months now. And it's like something I look forward to. But now I, got, I went from one follower to a boatload of followers now. <laughs> They're coming in, so make sure you share Make sure you comment and make sure you follow. Another big thing, go on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go on Sir Media Group and subscribe. Be a part of it. God has a blessing if you just put more time into your craft. More time into your craft. I hope at 10 o'clock I'm here at 5.30 in the morning because God has a blessing for me. I already know I, I move things. I got clutter in my way. I get it out of the way. The more time I spend doing that, the more my profits are going to go up. I know it. I understand it. I believe it. I'll achieve it. Just keep understanding that God has a blessing for you. Let's go. I'll see you tomorrow. With my name on. With my name on.